Hello folks, uh, I thought I'd bring you a, a short video here on these uh, battery packs and particularly the class that they call solar uh, generators like uh, the Jackery line uh, has. So I was on Amazon, I, I was looking for one and uh, I came across uh, this one here, it's called, uh, you can see the brand is an Engine Star, and I just got it yesterday, and uh, uh, the, it cost somewhere like 230 240 bucks, so it was under $300, and uh, uh, I had some, some gift cards that I applied, uh, could apply toward the purchase price, so I got it pretty cheap for under $60, so... Um, the Jackery, if, uh, if you've been looking, you know that those are kind of on the higher end. There's a couple of other brands that are on the high end. They look nice, got a lot of power. Jackery's got different ones on the, you know, the 200, the 500, the 1,000. I think they got a 400 watt hour one. But uh, I was looking for uh, something to replace my talent cells. So I got little talent cells, but I really don't have enough battery if I'm out in the field and need all battery and have no uh, AC. So uh, here's my my uh, my rig. So I've got uh, Celestron uh, AVX mount and uh, underneath there you can see the blue blue lights. I've got a powered uh, USB hub. Um, I don't have a camera on here now but I do have a Nikon uh, D7100 DSLR and I typically just use the battery uh, in the camera to drive that, but I do have a, an ASI uh, 533 MC on order, and that hasn't come in, so I'll need power uh, for that to run the run the cooling fan uh, with that. And uh, so on my tripod, uh, you can see I've got a uh, power strip just uh, quick tied to that, so when I have electricity, I can plug in the power strip and then plug in what I need in there. So right now I've got my power pack for my, for the telescope, for the AVX. I've got, um, what else do I have plugged in there? I think I got the plug in for my uh, laptop. So I'm running my laptop. See, I'm running just APT and I have the telescope uh, connected to it. So right now I've got it pointing at Vega inside my house. Uh, with that uh and what is the other thing that i have got oh i got my powered usb hub uh is plugged in there so i got three ac um devices plugged in there of course they've all got their own transformers running at like 12 volts two or three amps with that and um so that is everything off of here so here's the plug for my power strip and I also have, uh, just because of the way it's wired, I got a Thousand Oaks uh, dew heater there. So you can see I've got uh, two bands. I've got them on high, so they're hot. There's one there. And here's the second one here to draw. And I have that in the DC, this little the cigarette lighter type connector on here. So what I liked about um, this particular model is the display that you get uh, on that. They're all not the same, so that's something that you have to look at uh, as far as what features are available on the little display here. So you can see um, for the AC, it is telling us how much output. So right now you can see it's about 20 watts, and that's all coming off the power strip, so that's the laptop, and the battery is charging because I had it unplugged and running on battery, so the battery is pulling the charge and for the AVX and for the hub, and all I'm pulling is, you can see about 20 watts uh, of power. And DC is pulling about, you can see uh, 19 to 17, and that's the two, two channels that I have, and I have them on high, so pulling as much uh, as, as they do there. So if I go over here, and let's just say I turn off this channel all the way down and off, and then look at it, you can see that it drops down to uh, seven or nine watts per channel uh, with that. So I think each of these channels, uh, I think is about two amp. So then I'll turn it back to max and up it goes. 
So that's the uh, power out. So I, I like that. And it's so separate one for DC and you can see for USB. So uh, before we get any further, so here's the box. So it's the Engine Star R, uh, R350 portable power station. Uh, comes in this box here. All right, so what do you need to know? Yeah, you can read that. So they even give you the formula like on your working time. So fully charged as they're saying 296 watt hours. Okay, and you multiply that times 0.85. Okay, so that's just the, you're not gonna get everything out and so you're kind of losing like 15%. Uh, and you take that and then you divide it by the operating power of your device or devices totaled up. And they give you an example. So if you have something that pulls 30 watts, then you can roughly get about eight hours of, uh, of battery, which is pretty good. So um, that's what we've got. So you can see here on this side, so it shows what you have. So your charging methods, you can use a solar panel, you can use the, uh, which takes six to eight hours in full sun to charge, uh, AC plug five hours, which I can concur with that because I've charged it up twice or once full took about five hours, and then the 12 volt uh, from the car connector uh, takes about eight to 10, and this is your DC input here. And so here's the cables. So the cables you get with this box is, uh, you can see right there, there's the AC charger. So it, it's decently long, the cables both on the AC side and on the DC side. You also get the cigarette lighter charge for your car. Uh, that one doesn't look too long, it's to be about three feet. So it's got the little, what is that, five millimeter by 2.1 millimeter connector uh, on there. And then you also get, uh, for a solar panel, you get the connectors uh, for the solar panel. So you can plug in with that. Uh, when you charge it, the most it'll take, I think is 65 watts of input uh, with that. So over here, they're just telling you like what type of uh, devices you can charge and how many recharges or how long a light will work uh, on those. Uh, here's the specs. So it is a lithium ion, not a lithium ion phosphate, but uh, 296 watt hours, 80,000 milliamps, charging port, yep, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter, 12 to 25 volt, 65 watt max on the input. And then it gives you your output. Uh, on there. So the AC, there's two. That's the other thing that I wanted. I wanted to have an AC uh, outlet, but have two of them. Uh, there's some that only have one, and uh, I, I wanted to have uh, two available. So that was another thing that I was looking for. So pure sine wave, 350 watt continuous, 700 P. There is a wireless charger. So right here on top. So if you have an iPhone or Android that is uh, wireless charging capable, you just lay it right on top and that will uh, that will charge also. So you can see a little two amp, five volt, 10, 10 watts, and then your DC outputs. Okay, so two, these two here at a 12 or 24 volt, uh, then your USB A, got two A's, and then you have one Charlie USB-C uh, available on there. Uh, this is the main power. Uh, this one also includes uh, this button here, uh, LED light. Let me go ahead and remove that. We're done with that. So you can see the light uh, will come on. There it is on the side. So it, it's on or flash, or it even does an SOS. So if you do that, it'll just flash Morse code uh, SOS. So that's, that's the box that came in uh, with that. So like I said, the, what I was looking for was obviously cost two AC and then the what's displayed on here. So I got a battery that has, uh, you know, five little blocks in the battery icon. So each one of those is 20%. Uh, each, I wish they had an output of that actual percentage so that you would know exactly uh, how much charge is left, but it doesn't. Uh, but the uh, different outputs for AC, DC, USB, and then the bottom one that's not lit is your uh, input, so it'll tell you how much watt wattage is coming in. That's what I like. You didn't, you don't see uh, that much detail uh, on on most of them, you know, unless you get your higher ones uh, with that. So, like I said, that was something key. Uh, the other thing is, it has a flat top, so it's easy for storage, or if you want to put it somewhere in a shelf, 
uh, like the Jackery has kind of a built-in handle in the top. It's all molded part of the case. So you have that and so you can't, you know, store it. It makes it a little taller, but with this putting it down, you can, uh, you can see it's not really that high. I can reach with my hand from the thumb uh, to here and reach. So in smaller places, it can slide in. You can stack stuff on it or um, with that. So that's what I really liked, uh, really liked about it. So, but you can see that, uh, you know, we're only, you know, using under 40 watts, somewhere between 35 and 40 uh, on here. So what I did last night on a full charge, I, you know, turn on my scope, my hub, both heaters on high all night, about nine o'clock. I put it on the Andromeda Galaxy and uh, just let it track around. And I was gonna see how long that this would run. Uh, had the laptop going, you know, everything APT. And uh, so when I got up about 7.30 to look, it was off, the power was off, but I could see where the scope was pointing uh, approximately, it was to the, to the Northwest up high there so I just went into Sky Safari and kind of and found Andromeda and then kind of moved backwards in time to get it where the scope would be pointing in that direction because uh, north is this way uh, that's uh, that's due south so behind figured out it was somewhere around 5 a.m. Uh, that it ran in ran to before it ran out of power so that was about you know eight hours almost eight hours seven and a half to eight hours that it uh, that it ran on this rig here um, so as I've seen, you know, there's not a lot of information on the internet or on, uh, you know, on YouTube, uh, channels that deal with astronomy on, uh, you know, power consumption and what you need, uh, with that, how long things will last, because this is what you need are these numbers here, right? So this gives you, but there's also those little devices that you can use to plug in your stuff to see exactly like how much power it's drawing and power is just nothing but watts and watts is nothing but the voltage time the amperage gives you watts uh, with that to determine to get a large enough uh you know solar generator or battery pack to run your equipment you know for uh, however long you think you need to uh, to run it if you're going to run you know at night or all night or something if you don't have you know electricity uh with that or you're out in the field somewhere for one night uh, with that so but uh, there was a recent episode I believe on the Astro Imaging channel where they had a I don't remember his name but he was uh, he was a physicist and he was talking about power in the field and um, uh, it was, it was, it's good to watch so it like I said it's within the last month or two and uh, he discusses it and he has a couple of slides early on on power consumption you know, like typically, you know, if you're going to have uh, a mount and no dew heaters, you may use up to 30 watts. But if you have a dew heater and maybe a, a cooled camera, then uh, and you're using either like an ASI Air or a NUC, the small little mini computers, you may use up to 60 watts and then 90 if you're going to run like a laptop and all that stuff on there. And depending on the how much wattage you need to run at four hours and eight hours, he's got a little chart. Uh, uh, on there and stuff. And so he had calculated, you know, like if you're going to use 60 watts for eight hours, you would need around almost 500, about 450 watts of uh, a power to last that eight hours. And so there's, that's, you know, right under that, you know, that, that Jackery level of a 500, which is like 500 bucks. Because typically you see the price points are a dollar per kilowatt, uh, hour on that so that kind of gives you an idea and I don't I didn't want to spend that much money because I didn't think that my rig uh would run and consume that much which which it doesn't so it uh it uses much less and so like I said the uh the, the test that I did you know using about eight hours seven hours that's you know more than enough uh if I'm out of the field or if I'm in a star party where I don't have you know close access to to power then, you know, somewhere like this, you know, this 350 um, uh, engine star R350 is the model number. Because there's a number of them that are like at 300 uh, watt hours or 250. And that's just, I didn't think that was just quite enough. And so, like I said, found this one, 350 watt hours. I said, I'll bet you that that'll work. 
and, uh, and it does. It's pretty light. I think it's only about seven pounds. So I think it's going to work out well for me there. So, and, uh, you know, they call them solar generators, but they don't generate, <laughs> they don't generate solar. It's just because they can take in, you know, a, a solar panel or whatever, but it's just a lithium ion battery pack <clears throat> with outputs. It's got a, um, inverter for AC comes out on DC. Now, if you're looking for one that'll, and I think it says it gets about a thousand cycles, uh, which means that you can uh, discharge it out a thousand times, right? On uh, a, just a lithium ion uh, is what they have on this one here. So charge it up. And then when it discharges out, like down to 20%, that's a cycle. And you can do that a thousand times. So if you don't use this much or use it for camping or anything else, you may use a little faster, but it'll probably last several years. Uh, the ones that can go up to 2,000 uh, cycles on a charge discharge are the lithium ion phosphate uh, batteries, and those can go up to 2,000 cycles, so they can last much longer uh, than that. So if you use yours for astronomy and then maybe for an RV or camping, or you're doing a refrigerator or something else, then you know you may you may look at that, but uh, but that seems to be the hot uh, battery chemistry combo, the lithium ion phosphate. So, but uh, here it is. Uh, I give it uh, right now. I give it a thumbs up. Um, I like it. It's got a long charge. It's lightweight, and I uh, think it'll work out. My equipment seems to be happy about it. So. You know, it's tracking away at Vega through the sheetrock and through the roof. And uh, down here in the south, I'm in uh, down in Louisiana. And just like anywhere in the south, you've got to have uh, dew control. So dew, dew heaters are a must uh, most of the time of the year. So uh, got to be able to handle that. So, yep. Thumbs up for the Engine Star R350 portable power station.